Hi, Amy at Fashion Shoppings here. I'm gonna do another video, same outfit. <laughs> I'm actually doing two videos in one day. One for this week, one for next week. Since we're packing, I wanna kinda get my videos done ahead, ahead of time. So what I'm gonna do is I got some of these bracelets from Michaels. I got this from my mom. She sent me a couple of them, she is a little challenge. She says, do something with them. So, I'm gonna do something with them. I'm going to paint them with fingernail polish. So what you're gonna need is little makeup sponges and whatever color for your polish you want. I'm actually gonna be doing white, light green, yellow, and a little bit of pink. This one's gonna be quick and easy. First of all, you're gonna need a piece of tin foil. Always save, left over from something else. Nice and clean though. Okay, you're gonna wanna put some fingernail polish. I'm gonna start off with my white as my base coat. You're gonna put some fingernail polish on the tin foil, just like you would paint. This is just some cheap uh, wet and wild fingernail polish. I think I got it for 99 cents at Walgreens. I don't know why I got white. I'll never paint my fingernails white. So I'm just gonna put my base coat on. I'm sure better quality fingernail polish probably goes on a lot thicker on the first coat, but. I like to use stuff I have around the house. And the white I was just doing as a base coat so that some of my other cheaper fingernail polishes would go on a little bit darker. So all the way around. So this was a challenge that my mom sent me. But I'm always up for a challenge. I suppose you can use paint for this, but I wanted to challenge myself with something a little bit different. I use paint for so much. You can do the inside as well. I'm not going to. Okay, now I'm going to let that first coat dry and I'm going to come back and we're going to keep going decorating with our fingernail polish. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the first coat's dried. I'll touch it. I'll put on one more coat just so that my red showing through is a little more pink. When you get around to where it's already so wet, so your fingers don't pull up the fingernail polish, pull the bracelet from the inside. See? Pretty much white. Doesn't have to be perfect either, because we're going to just sponge other colors on it. Maybe give it a little bit, little bit of an ombre. You know I love ombre. A little bit of an ombre technique is I think what I'm gonna do. So Let's let that coat dry, and then let's start adding some other colors onto it. I'll be right back. Okay, now for the next set of colors. Let's do yellow. I'll do yellow. This polish is so old that the, the wand didn't even come out. I'm using all my old polishes. Okay. Now, I've never done this before, so this is kind of like a challenge for me. So I'm going to put some yellow on. I'm going to start just at the top, and I'm going to go around the top with the yellow. Just around the top. Spinning it as I go. Make sure not to get it too much all over my fingers. Okay, I'm doing the yellow, and I'm bringing it down over the white. So it gets a little bit lighter. Just bring in the light yellow down towards the bottom. Make sure your fingers don't touch it when it's wet or it takes the polish off. So I just found that out in one spot, so I'll have to correct that later. When it dries, I'll have to put it on thicker right there. So let's go ahead and let that dry, and then we'll put another coat along the outside rim to make it even darker so that it gets dark to light and then we're gonna switch to green and then have the green come dark to light in the middle and meet. So I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. I've never done this before, but let's let it dry and then we'll put on the next coat. Okay, now let's try a little bit of green. Now, these are all different brand polishes. 
So I'm not sure which ones are going to work better than others. So on the other side, I'm going to put the green. Nice and heavy along the top. Nice and heavy on the edge. Make sure not to get my fingers in there. Making it a little bit lighter. We'll let that dry and then we're going to come back and kind of dress it up a little bit, put some more colors on there or maybe a second coat just to try to finish it off because like I said, I'm trial and error. I'm doing this and I've never done it before. It was a challenge. So I'm just waiting to see how it's going to turn out. Let's let this dry and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Well, while I was, no, it's a different hat. While I was waiting for my layers to dry that quick, I went ahead and took some Jersey Knit and made a hat. If you want to know how to make this hat, look at my last video I put up last week on refashioning a sweater into a slouchy beret hat and arm warmers. So I did this in literally, well, as long as it took for this to dry. It took me about 10 minutes. So if you want to know how to make this hat, go check out my last video. Or two videos ago, I guess. Okay, so now my other camera just died, so I have to use this one. As you can see, I've got the layer of green around the top the white, and then the yellow. And I'm gonna put one more layer of green on. My pink, you know, I'm using old Frito polishes. My pink already is um, going bad, so I didn't even have enough to, to take any pink out. So I'm going to put out some more green. This should be my last coat, because I think I've got it covered enough. So I'm just gonna dab a light coat of green all the way around. Blending it in. It's so nice about these makeup brushes, or these makeup sponges. Just making sure that I've got transition between the white, the green, and the yellow so it looks natural. And that's good. See how it's the yellow and the green and the ombre kind of look? The white in the middle. I think it turned out pretty cute. It's got the red on the inside, so a little bit of pop of color. But like I said, this was a jewelry challenge. My mom sent me this bracelet and challenged me to do something unusual to it. Old fingernail polish, a couple of makeup sponges, and I did something different with it. So I'm going to let this dry. I'll take some pictures so you can actually see how it looks like on. Can't put it on now because like it is wet. So I will take pictures and, and post them at the end and you can see how it turned out. So, use fingernail polish, craft paint, but these sponges are great if you want to do an ombre look to your jewelry. So just take out some craft paint or fingernail polish, your makeup sponges, and there you go. You can go ahead and decorate your new bracelet or your old bracelet, however you want to do it. So, and check out how I make these hats. Uh, mine is out of a DIY sweater that I got at thrift, the thrift store. This, I turned around and made it fresh out of some scrap material, some jersey knit that I had sitting around the house. So. Thought I'd whip something up while I was waiting for the fingernail polish to dry. So, on to the next project. Well, this is Amy of Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.